black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Yo, what up? What is going on? Back with another one today. Uh, it's just super random, chilling, cruising around in the house. I was like, let me make some breakfast burritos out of just randomness I have in the fridge. The other day I bought tortillas for whatever reason. And a lot of times I'll just use them for like one or two. And then I just completely forget and they're just sitting around. And then I looked, I was like, I got to use those. And I was like, I have eggs. And then you just find other stuff in the fridge, kind of throw it in there. I found some mushrooms. Uh, some onion. I had a single hot dog left over that I just chopped up and kind of got that fried up because, you know, sausage or whatever. Usually there's some meat in a breakfast burrito, some pepperoncini peppers uh, for that little like breakfast burrito y peppery kick. And uh, yeah, just kind of fried them off in a little bit of oil just to close them up and give them a little extra texture and flavor. So even though these were completely unplanned, just something that happened out of nowhere, I mean, they're not the craziest thing in the world. Oh yeah, I got a ton of cheese in there too. 
They should be delicious. And uh, just before I start, I just want to give a quick shout out or actually a little update to anybody who bought merch. First of all, thank you. Uh, second of all, it ships. It shipped November 1st. According to the website, everything was being shipped November 1st. So I'm hoping on your end, depends where you live. I don't know, within the week, within a week, I hope in a week. If not, give it two. I know it's been a long, long time, but what, ha what happened was is the order had to get filled on their end and then ship out. So, you know, things that are worth waiting for are good or whatever, whatever that saying is. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm just going to talk about whatever today, to be honest. Maybe just, you know, I think I might tell you guys kind of about my like Halloween. Um, if you guys have any Halloween stories that were, if you guys had a good Halloween or any crazy stories, leave them down below. I love to hear that shit. Any good, good party stories that anybody shit their pants, any hookups, uh, did you wake up in a ditch with Mars bars all over your face or maybe just barf, I don't know. And of course, Valentina, you gotta have with the, any eggs, get that right up in your face and let's have a bite. There's that cheese bowl. Funny enough, I actually had cheese strings. I knew I know a very grade eight mood, very juvenile. But every once in a while, as a grown man, I like to peel some cheese. You know, it's just kind of fun. It just kind of brings me back. Feels nostalgic. Really makes me remember an easier, simpler time in this thing we call life. I don't know if you can see in there, hot dogs and whatnot. But anyways, yeah, it has cheese strings. And like I said, I was throwing everything together super randomly just because I was like, what, what do I have in the fridge? And I had cheese strings and I was like, let me just peel those bad boys and put them in here. See how they peel. Mmm. I gotta say, it's a good breakfast burrito. I cannot lie. I need to decrust the top of my Valentina bottle. Yeah, I hope you guys had a good Halloween. For Halloween, I went as a cradle robber. Very controversial costume in 2018. I think a lot of people... I I just thought I was going to offend a lot of people. It actually went over fine. And not too many people were freaking out. But I will say what's annoying is that we're living in a time where it's like people are so touchy about the littlest shit. And you just never know at what point any SJW is going to come at you. Now, here's the thing that pissed me off. It's like, it's Halloween. It's the one time of year where, like, most, like, offensive things like that, socially offensive, are at least sort of acceptable. There's limits, but, like, can we just have Halloween? You know what I mean? My deformed bottle as well. I bought it and put it in the dishwasher and it just came out that shape. So I still rock it, whatever. It's oblong. It's chill. Um, so yeah, I went as a cradle robber. So I just wore all black, like a black hoodie. I took a toque of mine that was uh, black 
and I cut eye holes in a mouth and kind of just like made it like a balaclava. <laughs> I wore it up for the most of the night, but when anybody asked what I was, I would pull it down. And then I bought a baby that was strapped into like essentially what looks like a kind of like a car seat. I couldn't find a cradle, but I like hung her around my neck, essentially like a chain. And I put like duct tape over her mouth. So it was like a pretty simple costume. <laughs> That's kind of, I just, I like to just do Halloween where it doesn't have to be too crazy. And uh, so yeah, I was rocking like a, like a, like a baby chain around my neck all night. And uh, a lot of people, it, it just, a lot of people didn't like, don't get it right in the beginning. Like, It did require some explaining. If you'd like to see a picture of it, you can go to my Instagram, Hoodie Noir, Noir being N O I R, like black and French. Hoodie Noir um, on Instagram. And that's like my most recent picture is me in my Cradle Robber costume. So if you'd like to go there, follow me, check me out. And, uh, Check out the Cradle Robber costume. You feel free to go ahead and do that. But it was pretty funny. Me and my buddy went out to... Uh, Church Street, which is like the gayborhood in Toronto. It's like the LGBTQ area, essentially. But this event was for everybody. It's It was running uh, on young, between like young and church and just a section of the city, like the right in the downtown core. And it was essentially being at like, I don't know, the, the event, like, it was huge. Streets were blocked off, and I want to say there were just thousands of people. I would say 5,000 people, or maybe a bit less, I don't know, but just rolling around in the streets. In costumes, like, just acting fools. Myself included, I was being extra fool, like I was being on another level. Just running up to people being like, do you know who I am? And they're like, what, what are you? And I just like ripped down the mask. I'm like, I'm the cradle robber. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> That's what I love about Halloween is you can just be like, so hyper and so extra. And so ridiculous because everybody just looks ridiculous and I feel like that's just the vibe, at least for me. So we were down at that party, we were hopping around bar to bar talking to people somehow out of the thousands I like ran into people I knew like a bunch which I didn't expect to happen at all but sure enough it did uh, and then 
later in the night like it just goes black for me like i just don't have like really any recollection of, of much of what happened i do have a slight memory of like going to 7-eleven and getting like taquitos and a hot dog i think that was on the way home that's like my my last like f- actual solid memory what's really sad about the night is Somewhere along the way, I lost my baby. Because I didn't, I woke up without her and I can't find her in my house. So I don't know where she got lost, but I do know that I had her for most of the night. But I don't know for certain where she ended up. I have two theories. One is that I gave her away at the last bar I was at, being like, I'm not a good parent. I can't take care of her. Please, can you adopt my baby or I think I may have, may have given my baby away to the employee at the 7-Eleven I feel like it's possible that I could have given her to the employee when I was buying my food not sure though I also woke up the next morning and I had a video on my phone of it's in the bar and it's this girl dressed up like a kind of like a sexy cat or something. And I just have this video of her essentially like twerking and dutty whining, just like in and around me and on by this table and like she's like on this table like with her hands on the table like bent over like looking back and like shaking her ass and I'm like filming it for whatever reason I don't know and uh that was at the time where I like I said I don't recall that section of the night So apparently some risque, scantily clad, burlesque-esque Halloween dance videos occurred in the middle of the bar. Three is too many. I can't finish. The cheese is getting too rich. sweating too well hope you guys enjoyed that one to some degree the little cooking segment there and my little halloween adventure it wasn't the most crazy (laughs) wasn't the most insane or crazy thing ever but it was a pretty fun night a couple little highlights but nothing nothing crazy not my best halloween let's just say that all right till the next one eat good live well stay true